DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, Zendaya, big names in Hollywood. But in darts, there's only one Hollywood that matters, Chris Doby, a player bursting with talent, capable of moments of pure brilliance, but still searching for consistency. In this video, we will analyze position, stance, grip, front camera, throwing action and speed. Let's discover the secrets of Doby's throw. Chris positioned himself one step to the right of the center. He uses a closed stance with the supporting foot parallel to the throwing line. Closed stance used by many other players such as Phil, The Power, Taylor, or Michael Van Gerwen. During lockdown, Doby changed his foot stance, switching from a forward to his current closed stance. But during lockdown, I kind of wanted to give myself that extra 5-10%. So I managed to change my, my foot stance and lean a bit forward before I throw now. If we draw a line from the eye to the heel, we can see that everything is perfectly aligned. Let's take a look at Chris's stance. At first glance, we can immediately see that it is very elegant to look at and very solid throughout the entire throwing action. If we look closely, we can see that the elbow is high and solid, almost perfectly aligned with the shoulders. We can see that the weight is well distributed on the supporting leg, and we also notice the forward lean that Doby mentioned earlier, facilitated by the closed stance. Let's talk about grip. Doby uses a fairly simple and common three-finger grip. The thumb and index finger support the barrel towards the end, near the stem, while the middle finger provides support just before the tip. The thumb and index finger are slightly open, leaving a clear line of sight to the target. So I literally grip from the back of the dart. No finger touches a point or anything. It's literally from the back and it releases. Chris is one of the best 180 hitters on the PDC circuit, and this is partly due to his excellent dart grouping. As we can see from the clip, he practices understacking, with the darts arriving with the flight high, and the aim is to place the first one and then put the others underneath. Let's just say that Chris manages this perfectly. I'll leave a video in the description if you want to learn more about over and under stacking. Moving on to the front cam, we immediately notice that Doby is right eye dominant. In fact, his movement consists of a dart in line with his right eye, a very slight pullback and release. It is interesting to note the position of the elbow, which starts further to the right and moves slightly to the left during the pullback. The green dots mark this movement. This is certainly not advisable as it is an additional variable to control, but the elbow remains solid at 90 degrees so it does not actually affect consistency and is a natural part of the throw. Barney has a very similar elbow movement. We can also note the open grip with the palm facing the target, which leads to a complete flexion of the wrist during the release. Let's analyze Doby's throwing action. Chris's technique is really beautiful to watch and very clean. It is characterized by a pullback that is very short compared to what we are used to seeing. In fact, he sets the dart at about 103 degrees, then pulls back to about 86 degrees, and finally executes an excellent release with his arm pushing upwards and extending to almost 180 degrees, with his wrist whipping forward. Speed is not an element that affects the level of a darts player. However, I usually like to include it in the analysis because it is an element that adds awesomeness in a match. Chris takes about six seconds to release the darts. Let's say that most players take between five and 5.5 seconds, so his time is slightly slower than average. Finally, let's take a look at how Chris is playing. Here we have the 2025 statistical ranking calculated purely on the basis of player stats. If we look for Doby, we can see that Chris is 13th in the ranking. If we open the details, we can see that he is top class, with values above 90 in practically every stat except for checkout. These values indicate how many players with a tour card Doby has outperformed. For example, with a 180 ratio of 95, he has outperformed 95% of players. If we look at his position in this ranking over the years, we can see that his level has always been high, peaking at sixth place in 2021 which once again highlights Chris's talent. One last thing, if we compare the stats for 2025 with those for 2024, we can see that the checkout percentage is still his problem. 
If we move on to 2023, it's the same thing. If we go to 2022, it's the same again. That remains his big limitation. In fact, he has excellent power scoring, but sometimes he throws away matches due to doubles. He needs to improve there to make the definitive leap. The site I use to view the stats is called Dartslytics. It is a site I created myself and gives a different view of players' performance. If you want to take a look, I will leave the link in the description. Thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe to support the channel. Write in the comments who you would like to be analyzed next.